Good morning, everyone. I'm Stefania from Allied Communications, and today I have with me Jason Moss and Brian Doyle. I'm going to be Good talking morning, about... everybody. Good morning, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about some of our social media tools that we use um, to, make, to make our graphics. I'm going to hand it over to Brian to show you our first tool. Yeah, so uh, one of my favorite tools that I use for simple, easy social media graphics is Adobe Spark. And I believe you can even sign up for Adobe Spark is free, but I do know it comes as part of your Creative Cloud collection if you, uh, <clears throat> if you utilize Creative Cloud. And what it allows you to do is really build these simple, easy templates. You'll see down here, they give you some templates of their own. These are some templates that we've made. Um, you know, when I come over here, this is one we use in our advertising for Allied. And, uh, and it was incredibly simple to make. Hopefully it'll paint here in a second. But, um, you know, basically what you do is you choose a graphic. But once you choose that base graphic and you can do it in all the sizes that you'd expect, all the different social media sizes, you can adjust them for Instagram stories, Instagram itself, um, you, you know, the, uh, the posting, Facebook, all that. But basically you're given this little really easy to use video editor. So you'll see here when I click here, I can bring in graphics. If I want to change in my words, in language, I just simply come in here and change uh, what words we have. When I create these words, you can actually do different colors. <clears throat> you know, you'd expect that, but you can also do different shapes. So I could turn around and change this into that, into that, you know, all kinds of different varieties just with a click of a, a mouse. You can change your graphics and then you can even add some different styles. So when you come into styles, you can, you know, rotate the wheel and now you got a different wording type. So there's a lot of different flexibility that you can do into it. There's a number of different effects you can do with the letters too. Just that easy to really create graphics in a, in a simple thing. And then when you can download them either in a PDF or a PNG version. So this is one of mine. And I know Jason, you use this quite a bit too, you know, perfect tools for creating those little quick slides that you want to put up on Facebook or on LinkedIn or on uh Instagram without using their templates, right? You want to make it custom. You want to make it your own. And if you notice, you can even build your brands in here too. So it will ask you for your brand styling right up front. And then when you start these graphics, it really uh, moves you in that manner. So this is one of my personal favorite tools. Before we move off of Spark, uh, anything you want to add to that, Jason? Uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, it's funny. You, well, you just mentioned something that I was going to mention was the, was the branding aspect. And so you can have your logos preloaded in there. And then you also can go in there and throw in your company colors so that, you know, talk about ease of use and quickness. You just go in there and you go into the branding aspects and you're able to throw all of your colors into there without having to customize them. You know, especially for those people out there that they have, you know, kind of a unique color or something that may be hard to duplicate. That makes it really easy. Um, you know, before I move off of Spark and onto mine, um, it's just important to kind of mention that, you know, I don't come from any type of design background, you know, by any means. So a tool like Spark makes it super simple for the dummies like me that don't really know how to draw a straight line. <laughs> well, I fall into that category on. too, Jason. And, you know, <laughs> and I'm also a guy that's always looking for speed. So when we talk about hacks, here's a perfect example. You know, we, we run a podcast and every week, the only thing that changes in the podcast is who our guest is and who our episode and what the episode's about. So Spark makes it really easy just to click in here. And all you need to do is change your episode in the person's picture. And I got this week's tile. So it takes literally less than two minutes to go in there and, and make the adjustments you need to make. In this case, these two pieces right here and move on. So uh, Spark, I give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Hopefully Jason does too. Oh, yeah. And maybe Definitely I'll get my thumb my in favorite. frame next time. <laughs> yep. So, uh, all right. Jason, yeah, moving move along let's here. move on to yours. Yeah, moving along here. We got uh, Picto chart. So this was something I discovered, you know, no disrespect to Spark. Definitely love it. But sometimes I feel like I'm just a little too limited in uh, kind of from a creative aspect. So I discovered Picto chart. And now Picto chart, um, as you can see here. So with my basic version, they want me to upgrade to Pro but you can have five tiles going at all times. Now there's no real monthly or weekly limitation or anything like that. So basically when you're done with the graphic, you can export it, save it onto your PC, and then you know, you're good to go. So basically I'm just forever alternating between these five graphics. So I've never really hit any type of limitation. So this is something that's really good within the free program. So 
you know, going down into here, now this is something that I think is, is, is better um, in terms of a, a designing standpoint. You're able to do kind of a little more. Um, and they have, uh, let me see, I may request control here again. Well, yeah, absolutely. My Didn't kid. realize they took that away from you, Jason. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> now I have the power. All right, yeah, so yeah. Going, going along here, you can even do presentations. You know, you got posters. And this report feature is pretty cool. You know, I haven't really played around with it, but this is something that I've been trying to do. And as you can see, there's tons of pre-made templates. And, you know, PictoChart takes a lot of pride in having like an A-plus design team. So you can really draw some good inspiration from here. And if you're really in a rush, you can kind of just move things around, change some colors, and, and voila, you've got a perfectly made uh, tile going for you here. Now something else. Hey Jason, that, oh, how do these ex how do these export? Do they export into formats like PDF and Word yeah, and whatnot? There, it's very similar. I know I'm I I think I'm slightly limited um, because I am using the free account. But yeah, okay, you can so export everything as, like, in JPEG. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, everything you're showing here is part of is part of the free version, correct? Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, I really haven't hit any kind of wall doing this from from you know, how many graphics I can have to a creative standpoint. And the thing that's also pretty cool and something else I re recently discovered, and as you can see here, I probably should start the third day now, but you know, especially if you're any kind of designing firm or, or graphic designing, there's this Teams functionality. And so if you buy into the, um, you buy the Teams package, what you can do is basically, it's just a place where your whole team can come together and you all can collaborate on graphics. You can mark, um, you can mark certain things and, and leave a note and say, oh, I'd like to change this. Let's make this a bigger font or this is the wrong logo. And so rather than going off of the platform, say to like Microsoft Teams or a Slack, you can communicate with everybody right here on the platform and all the changes that you need to make, you can see in real time and then kind of check them off as you do them and then everybody gets notified. So this is something pretty cool I've discovered. So if you, if you guys, anybody out there listening does a lot of designing, especially for you graphics designers, um, if you're not familiar with this, this is a, a really awesome tool and you can really get some in-depth designs here. You know, once again, no, no disrespect to Spark, but I just think that this is a little more visually appealing and, and far more options. Well, I think what, what you're really exposing here is there's different use cases for different items, right? Exactly. You know, I look at Adobe Spark as something that, you know, if you've got a quick message or something you want to post or just make sure you're staying content, you know, staying on par with your social media and getting things you can easily build, you know, half a dozen Spark images in like 10, 15 minutes that you can then utilize for social. I'm seeing what you're presenting to me here in PictoChart. This is really when you want to really craft a message and really help people understand a little bit more in depth of items, right? Because we're really getting into the more the infographics into some of the download documents you can create and things like that. And that's a different art form and definitely would, you know, come with a little bit more time, be a little bit more involved and obviously have a little bit more visual appeal. So, you know, I think uh, what's being represented here is there's really some things though at the end of the day that can save you time, right? Absolutely. This is, you know, there no magic to it. Come in here, let somebody else who's got the right experience do it, customize it, make it your own. And usually just changing your brand colors and adding your logos enough to say that, that something like this six tips to build you could use it for your own company and not care if somebody else used the template elsewhere because you'll be able to make just enough subtle changes that it looks a little bit different. Right. And both yeah. these tools are great for, you know, great for beginners, someone who's not really, you know, into the graphic design and they can make pretty professional looking. With that, uh, I think we're reaching the end of our 10 minutes here. So we might um, have gone a little long. <laughs> yeah, I think we have, but that's all right. It was a fun discussion. Um, hope you guys learned something today. I know I did. I'll be using uh, Brian's new program. Um, and as always, thank you for listening. Happy Friday and enjoy your weekends. We'll see you soon. Take Bye, care, guys. everybody.